six. Warrandyte decided they just bloody loved the feeling of an outright victory, and in a rare feat, the cruiser drinking fancy boys recorded back to back outright wins. Batting first, AJ Demmel blasted 86 at the top of the order and found some support from Daniel Barry. Barry was able to break his drought. Not that drought, sorry, Liz. Get back on Tinder, mate. And he posted 68. Daniel Barry had made his feelings known about the key goals for the season. A, his batting. B, getting more overs from his tweaking offies. And most importantly, C, pulling Tom Ellis's girlfriend. He completed two of these. We are still awaiting word on his offies. Warrandyte made a brave declaration at the 63 over mark. It proved to be a stroke of genius, however, as the shopping centre crumbled to be all out for 117, with Sheriff taking just a lazy seven wickets. Warrandyte asked Churnside to face the music again, and rolled them again for 128, with Sheriff's four for 40 and Sex Pest Luke Killy taking three. A hell of a way to head into the Christmas break, clearly leading the competition. I can be your hero. The twos would again lose to the toss to San Andrews. Bloody hell, Rabbit. Did old man Greg let you have any long showers as a kid? And managed to bowl out the Saints for 205. Gaffney's fourther was overshadowed, but a clear lack of captaincy with Dale Lander throwing the ball and taking one for 22 off 11 overs. If you want to hear more about it, Dale would have already told you nine times tonight anyway. Warrandyte would still fail to chase this total, dismissed for a dismissal 103. Tom Allison's 43 not out, clearing... Fucking Heiberg, you can't type. Tom Ellis's 43 not out, clearly highlighting the twos as shit. Merry Christmas. Round nine saw Dave Molyneux promoted to the third 11 and he proved the support of the selection committee was granted, with 51 retired hurt in the run chase against Warrenwood after he caught one in the gob. Warrandyte would keep the opposition to 195, Ison claiming two wickets and Dean Gidley claiming three for. Despite Jeff Zack yeah. being not out overnight, rocking up late and not being able to resume, Warrandyte would win by two wickets with a good chase mastered from I never yeah. from Coco Day. The game will be best remembered for the suspensions of War and Captain Day. In a game with many a record, the Wolfpack claimed another scalp in one turn of South. In the same game, and if this has ever happened in another cricket game, I'll lick chess asshole. <laughs> Here we go for asshole. <laughs> And if this ever happened in another cricket game, old league chairs arsehole after he's done a 400 metre sprint. Klein claimed his 100th wicket and 7,000th run. That is incredible. Firstly, why was he bowling is surely an issue, but the record is incredible. Crazy Nath was also playing in his 100th game for the Bloods, and surely cracked another bat over his knee to celebrate the milestone. Klein would claim two wickets and 67 not out for a certain three votes. The 5th 11 relied on their big names in Greg Warren, Graham Rees and Brendan Baker to try and guide them to a round 9 victory, but they would fall short by 21 runs. Brenny made 56 and Greg the Regulator Warren 55. Regulators! Mount up! It was a clear black night, a clear white moon, Warren G was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the E so I could get some phones rolling in my ride, chilling all alone. Just hit the east side of the LBC on a mission trying to find Mr. Warren G. Seen a... This was matched by Reese's forefront. Hopefully an interesting couple of votes at the end of the season. Round six. Hey.